the whole video is black and white. I love black and white videos. What was Aaliyah's ethnicity? Was it African American? A little bit of African Jamaican? Or was it a little bit of Native American? Let's try and find out. Before we get into this video, like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your bell post notifications so that you'll be notified every time I drop a video. Let's get right into this. Now, it really doesn't matter what race Aaliyah was because she was just so beautiful either way. But personally, I just say that she was African-American. But I'm pretty sure we all have a little bit of something else in us, which we don't probably know about because we aren't educated about those things. So we're just left thinking that we're all African-American and how we originated from Africa, which in reality, we're probably more than what we think we are. Anyways, her parents, Diane Hankerson and Michael Houghton, are both black. The name Aliyah is from the word Aliyah, which is of Hebrew origin, meaning highest, most exalted one, the best. Aliyah had stated, when I wake up in the morning, I am African American. And when I go to sleep at night, I am African American. And I can assure you, I love who I am. My girl. Her father is of African Jamaican descent and her mother is of African American ancestry. Aaliyah has sometimes been cited as having a Native American grandmother or as having a grandmother with some Native American ancestry. It is not clear if this ancestry has been verified slash documented. A photo of her maternal grandmother, Mentis, can be seen here. Aaliyah's paternal grandfather was Franklin Grizzly Reed Houghton, the son of Solomon Houghton and Lilia Margaret Bell. Franklin was a Jamaican immigrant from Darleston, Westmoreland. Solomon was the son of Robert Samuel Houghton and Judith Richardson. Lilia was the daughter of Joseph Zebulon, Bell and Esther Jemima Walker. Aaliyah's paternal grandmother was Gladys Lucille Burton, the daughter of Joseph Francis Cato Burton and Adela Adelaide Allen. Gladys was a Jamaican immigrant from Bagnold Springs, St. Mary. Joseph was the son of Francis Cato Burton. Adela was the daughter of Henry Staines Allen and Esther Adelaide Anderson. A picture of Gladys can be seen here. Aaliyah's maternal grandfather was Ernest W. Hankerson, the son of Wadi Woody Myers and Susie Hankerson. Ernest was born in Bulak, Georgia. Wadi was the son of Henry Myers and Andania Hannah Anna Hankerson. Susie was the daughter of Henry Hankerson and Rachel Peoples. Aaliyah's maternal grandmother was Mentis L. Hicks, who possibly was the daughter of Daniel Hicks and Anna Scott. Mentis was born in Barnwell, South Carolina. Anna was the daughter of Sam Scott and Millie. Now, from what we heard, Miss Aaliyah has an entirely huge family. I mean, her family goes way back. Anyway, the Houghton's side of the family seemed to have been of Jamaican descent, and they started in Holly Hill, Darleston, Westmoreland, Parish, Jamaica. Now, Diane Houghton was born in New York, the United States, in the year 1951. She is currently 71 years old and holds America's nationality. Besides that, Diane belongs to the Caucasian ethnicity. She grew up alongside her brother named Barry Hankerson. Now with all of this, we can see that Aaliyah was not only African American descent, but she maybe had a little Native American heritage in her and Jamaican heritage. But I would say that the leading race for Aaliyah was African American and she definitely embraced being African American. But it doesn't really shock me that she had more to her race than just African American because because on my dad's side of the family, his mother is Indian, which makes me a little bit of Indian. But clearly, I am more African American than Indian, and I go by African American. And I think that this is just something Aaliyah did as well. And even her parents seen her as African American. But it's definitely okay to embrace the other sides of you, the other ethnicities that you have within yourself, because she definitely looks identical to 
every family member she has. She looks like her mom, she looks like her dad. She even looks like her grandmother and her grandmother does look like she could have been Indian. And I also wanna bring up that the society, the government, they flipped our race on us and they just threw a name on us which was African American. And that's what we all go by. Every black person in the US, not every, but is considered African American. And I personally don't think that we are originated from Africa because the Africans don't even like us black people here in the US. So that's also a reason why a lot of people don't know where they come from and what their ethnicity is. And that is including me, which is really sad because we should know who we are and the race of people shouldn't have got mixed up. and. They're saying that we're the real Indians and that we did not come from Africa. But anyways, that's another video. I find it really ironic that Aaliyah dressed up as an Indian, as you can see by these pictures. She must have known that she was part Indian and I think she looks so gorgeous and she really looks like an Indian and I wanted to mention that because they said that some black people are Indians the real Indian even Ice Cube did an interview saying this himself it doesn't shock me at all Aaliyah was definitely trying to tell us something she was really ahead of her time she was very smart and she was very educational to people like us now let's talk about Aaliyah's beautiful hair now other Though I think some of it was weave, she did have some beautiful hair. You could tell by her leave outs. She always had beautiful thick hair since she came out, since she was a kid. We actually do have kid pictures of Aliyah, and she always had beautiful hair. And a lot of people say that she was light skinned or mixed and this and that. And I just think she was African American, but some of her native heritage and her Jamaican heritage played a role in some of her features, which was her hair her lighter skin complexion etc but she definitely was jamaican and native for the people who want to know i also want to bring up that alia did get perm straighteners for her hair which tells me that she had african-american hair if you will thick and more African American heritage than the other ones. And it was said that she would get perm straighteners to keep her hair straightened because she liked her hair straight and not, I'm guessing, curly and puffy. I thought that was very interesting that she was getting straighteners. I always thought that she would just blow her hair out and straighten it, but no. When I found out she got perm straighteners, I was like, oh. No wonder why her hair is straight. <laughs> so she was definitely hiding her beautiful, luscious curls. And that's what she probably had. Also, because she got perm straighteners, I think that played a big role in why people thought she was mixed. She had good hair. No, it was just a perm mixed with some weave. There's nothing wrong with that. But I personally would say that she was just African-American. And clearly she thought this too. She didn't see herself as mixed or biracial she never said that so yeah and her light complexion i just think that it comes from her mom's side of the family her mom was very bright her brother was even brighter than alia was and her uncle barry hankerson was bright as well so that's probably where she got her light complexion from just her mom's side of the family but she still would get that tan when being in the sun her light complexion just comes from her mom's side of the family but i think she definitely took on on both sides which is really crazy because she definitely looks like both parents and it's really wowing i also want to throw in here really quick that if you want to look up any of her family members i'm sure that their pictures will be on family search like i put in the beginning of the video because it is really hard to find pictures of her family's photos and while looking up photos for this video i found this one of her late grandmother mentis and it just says alia's grandmother mentis she is a full blood name Native American. She gave Aaliyah her middle name, Dana. She designed the dress Aaliyah wore on Star Search. She gave Aaliyah that ring that she always wore on her ring finger. She gave Aaliyah a stuffed Oregutan before she passed and Aaliyah slept with it every night. Mentis L passed away in 1998. And here's a rare photo of Aaliyah's mother, Diane Deborah Hankerson, when she was younger. And she definitely looks like an Indian. What do you think?
And last but not least, here's a beautiful photo of Mentis, Diane Houghton, and Aaliyah. And they all look very similar. It's just crazy how you can look so much like your family members, even further down the line. And yeah, they are just very gorgeous. You guys let me know what you thought of this video. Are you shocked that Aaliyah was Jamaican and even possibly Native American Indian? Let me know down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next video stay crazy